Okay, so now we're here. Sit. And we're gonna introduce her to Eric. There you go. All I did was I had her sit. I stepped away, I handed him the treat. Now I'm gonna send her over and he's gonna give it to her. No, but make sure she waits on a loose leash. Make sure she really waits until you actually pat her chest like this, see how she's waiting, and say, go say hi, and then say, come. <laughs> Good. She likes those, oh boy. Sit. And if she collapses like that, just bring her back up like this. She's very excited right now. But if you stay calm and your motions are deliberate and calm, nope, she's gonna calm down a lot faster. You just need, she needs to know that, that uh, no matter what, you're gonna stick with the program. This is the way it goes. There's a little bit more that time. Okay. And if she wants to go get the next treat and, and see this person get petted eventually, she needs to play this game the right way. Go say hi. Good, very good, come. She acts like she does know you though. She's very excited to see you. <laughs> Sit. Although we've done this multiple times now with strangers and she has a different perception now of a new person. This always happens when she meets no, when she meets new people. Great, great stuff happens so she gets all excited. So we've changed her perception of what it means for a new person to, to meet a new person on the street. Also. We set this up so that we're successful in that one of the really important things is that we always approach you. Nope. Always just keep her, and she's in a sit-stay now. Just make sure she stays there. So you never, with a dog like her, you never have strangers approach like this. You always ask them to wait there. Nope. Oh, she really wants to go say hi to you. But I'm explaining this for your benefit because I know you're going to be handling her at the adoptions and also for the, for the video. Um, you always approach a new person and s nope, and send her over to them in this way because she's used to, no, she's used to everything going really well this way and it's way less threatening if she approaches the new person and then you call her back to come to you. Go say hi. Good. Come. No jumping allowed though. Call her back to you. She jumps. Sit. No. One more time. Go say hi. Good. Come. Are you sure that you've never met her before? No, never. Yeah. Yeah. Sit. So that would be the way to intro to her, a, a new person. Okay. And you know, all the steps are there. Having her sit and wait, you step away, she sees you give the treat to the person, she waits till you come back, this leash is loose, loose the whole time, she makes a mistake, you gently but firmly put her back, make sure she plays this the right way. She's very overstimulated today for whatever reason, but even if she's super excited like this, make sure she sticks with the program. Every time you do it like this, she'll get a little bit better, a little bit better. Go, now you just pet her. You have to get down there and pet her though. Come. Yeah, so you do the whole treat thing a few times and then the person can start petting. Sit. And maybe this time we do, we give you, no. See if she breaks out of that sit early. I just do a little do over circle. Gently but firmly put her back, no. This is a great exercise in self control for her. And the whole message is, you want to go get the good stuff? You want to get the treat and meet the person? Right. You got to keep it together. Right. Focus, calm yourself down, exert self-control, and all good things will happen. So she can take the treat, but you keep petting her. But stay down there. If you're down there petting her, she won't jump. Okay. Go say hi. You got to get down there right now and pet her. Oh, she came back to me for the treat. Go ahead and pet her a little bit more. Good girl. Good girl, yeah. And then also in front of people, you can, once you've done this intro, right. you can um, practice your basic obedience with her. Down, good, and do it in the presence of the person you want her to be calm with, no. 
and don't let her crawl around. She's really super excited with you, and I don't know why. This is as, as excited as she ever gets. But it, you just have to double down and make sure that she continues to do it the right way. I always position her to the side of the distraction so that she can, she's not staring and she can choose, she can look at you, but then she can choose to look back. Good. Part of this is that you've got stuff going on behind you as well. People in a car and some dogs come in and out like that. Now there's more people here. So that's part of the excitement. And of course she gets excited. It's her history to get very excited when things are happening on the street. You've got somebody standing there. Show the person standing there. And there's another person coming out, which she sees. Good, but she's still staying in her downstay. And every time that we practice this, show the other person now. So she is a, she is a, um, she, her issue was people on the street and dogs, of course, which we'll deal with later. And now she's able to control herself. She may be overstimulated, but she still is able to stay in sit stays and downstays and be controlled. And I haven't struggled at all with her. You've seen exactly how I do it. Good. She'll wait until you give her the reward when she's in a downstay. Put it on the ground. She'll take it off the ground. You don't want her going messing with your hand and grabbing it out of your hand because that's disrespectful. So this is a great way to introduce to somebody and, and give her the perception that I'm going to be calm around this pe person too. This person's safe. And... Um, I'm orchestrating whoever's handling her, and maybe it'll be you, are orchestrating this whole thing. She's safe. She knows exactly how it's gonna go. Anybody she meets this way, she's gonna like because we've set that pattern up for you already. Every time you do this, she's gonna get a little bit better and better. Okay. <laughs>